everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Dippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Today we're going to be doing a haul video. Last Wednesday, the... I actually have to look at a calendar. The 15th of June, Keith and I went to Salvation Army's half-off day. We only went to one Salvation Army. Um, I have a ton of inventory here. If you didn't already see the other two videos where I came home with 160 pieces of inventory... Um, so we only went to one Salvation Army just because I didn't want to have FOMO. And, well, basically, I just didn't want to have FOMO. We had plenty of inventory here. We have some more remotes on the way as well for Keith. But I didn't want to miss out. And I always feel like you have to at least go to one Salvation Army on half off day or you're going to miss something. So we went to one. We found 19 items. So it wasn't that you know, big score day or anything like that. But we found 19 good items, spent $75. And so that averages out to $3.94 an item. I'm going to show you all 19 items because that's not that many. And we can get through that pretty quickly. The first I'm going to show you is a BKE men's pearl snap. Pearl snaps are good in all brands, but BKE is a pretty good one to, to pick up. These usually sell pretty quickly. We used to sell them for about 25 or 30 bucks. Hoping they still comp us high. We have another Pearl Snapper. Also BKE. So two nice Pearl Snaps. Hey, guess what? If we're going to have Pearl Snaps, you got to have our other kind of favorite shirt. <laughs> I love Pearl Snaps and Vented Fishing Shirts. This one is a Columbia PFG. And it feels really big too. No, it's only a medium. I guess they just they make a lot of noise too. I like the material they're made out of. It's noisy. I got a Madewell top. Love the um, tops by the Good Jeans brands. This is exciting. Are you ready? A woman's polo shirt. You guys recognize the whale, the pink whale, vineyard vines. That was a nice find. And this shirt is a shirt. No, it's a Cuba Vera. Just it's inside out because clearly when I took it out of the dryer and got it ready for the video, I didn't bother to flip it around. <laughs> this is a red button front shirt. It has a nice graphical on the bottom hem. Kind of neat. We'll be able to add a couple extra bucks to the price for that. They're like little paisley, like handkerchief print thingies. Thingies. I will use better words than the keywords in the title, I promise. This is a 3XL. And so those were all the shirts. The rest of this I'm going to show you is jeans, of course. I'm um, going to have to change my name from the plush queen to the jean queen. 724 High Rise Street by Levi's. I have a Levi's 559 Relax Street in the men's department. I'm just flinging stuff haphazardly. Don't mind me. Adriana Gold, Adriano Goldschmied. Always a good brand to find. Levi's 514 Streets. You got to learn your Levi's, guys. Some are worth money and some you always want to leave behind. These are 505 Women's Straight Leg. I like the 505s in men, men's and women's. Men's obviously go for a little bit more. Men's clothing usually goes for a little bit more than women's. And in some instances, like the BKEs, there's a huge price difference. Citizens of Humanity. This is a good brand. I haven't seen it in a while, though. And I've got some Levi's Bootcut 515s. These are a size 16. So these will be considered a plus size, at least on Poshmark. And plush size, plush plus size jeans you can usually get a little bit more for i mean for instance if the 515s normally comp around 30 and these are plus size i'd probably start them at 35 maybe um 32 but 
It would definitely be two to five dollars more for the plus size. These are Joe's jeans. I love Joe's jeans. These are super cute too. They have these cuffed, raw, like distressed hems down here. So these are cute jeans. And then last but not least, another pair of Adriana Goldschmieds. These are the Stevie Slim Straight. And I know I've said it before, but it does bear repeating. Whenever the brands are so kind as to give you the style and or a name on the tags, use that. Number one, it's going to give you keywords for free, so you don't have to come, on, come up with them on your own from your noggin. And number two, uh, buyers that are loyal to these brands that look for these specific styles are going to look for that. If I like the Stevie and the way it fits and my favorite pair just finally ripped, and I can't wear them anymore, I'm going to go online and look for the Stevie again. So use what the brands give you. That's what this is there for. I know I went through these kind of quickly. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comments. Uh, hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Help us feed a hungry hippo and join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link down below. And... Uh, Hey, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.